Welcome back. Meteorologist Thomas Battle joins us now with a check on the forecast. Thomas, you've been pretty busy tonight. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a quick early evening. I'm hoping uh, the front half of my night is a lot busier than the second half because, uh, yeah, we had a lot of strong storms out there in the last couple of hours. Things are starting to slow down, but we've still got a couple trouble spots that we're going to keep in mind. Uh, here's a look at the radar right now. A lot less scary looking now. If you're looking at radar, we don't have any more of those polygons over us. You'll notice at the very beginning here, there was the purple and red ones. Those were two tornado worn storms that were just over the Bloomsburg, Lewisburg area. Those still, what's left of them, moving out towards the east. But we have no longer any more warnings in our area. And I'm just going to get a little closer. These areas have been getting pounded. So even if you haven't seen a tornado warning for your area, you've probably seen some flooding in a few spots, especially around Union, Montour, Northumberland County. We're watching this little cell here that's moving into the Catawissa area in the next few minutes too. Uh, that one has been producing a pretty heavy rainfall just in the last few minutes. Does look like it's got a little rotation. We'll keep an eye on it though. Uh, looking over at the rain that's also moving into Luzerne County. What's left of these storms continues to fall apart, but notice how they're not moving very quickly. Some of these showers and storms producing a lot of heavy rain, and that's what we're really most concerned about for the rest of the evening. It's flooding, and that's what we've been really watching for the last couple of days. And we're going to keep seeing that happen throughout the rest of tonight. Temperatures in the 70s. We're in the upper 70s around Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. Forest City, upper 70s. Berwick, 75. 77 degrees out towards Williamsport and Sunbury, where those storms were ongoing just a short time ago. Winds are blowing out of the south or southwest, and that's helping to push out all that smoke that we had actually like just a short day or two ago. Now we're pulling in all that heat, all that moisture, and that's going to help to bring in more storms, especially for tomorrow, because that humidity, it's not feeling super pleasant. We're talking 70 degree dew points that aren't going away anytime soon, and maybe not until the middle of the week. And that does include the 4th of July, it seems. Here's a look at satellite and radar broad picture. We've got a lot of storms that are still ongoing across Pennsylvania. This storm round that's back towards the southwest of us, well out over the Ohio Valley, that's also headed our way as we go more in the next couple of days. But tonight we're dealing with this trough in the atmosphere and that's what's helping to kick up these showers and storms, most of which have been pretty shallow. The rotation hasn't been a lot, but it's been enough to produce some of those high winds that we've seen. Futurecast, though, is going to be much quieter here very quickly in the next few hours, which is great news. Watch just there in a short time before we even get to 10 o'clock. Most of the rain is done and moving out towards the east, and we should be drying up for most of the evening. However, there will still be a few more showers and storms outside at night. Not a lot. Tomorrow, heading into Monday, you'll see a few more showers develop. Could be a couple rumbles of thunder as well. Some heavy rain producers will create the potential for some more minor flooding. It won't be hitting everybody. Here's Tuesday. That's the 4th of July. Doesn't look bad. There will be a few showers outside, but it is by no means a washout. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch for the rest of tonight. Uh, that lasts until 11 p.m. Just for the counties you see here in yellow. That does include some of Schuylkill, Carbon, Monroe, but it won't be for all night. I think they'll let that go a little early. Showers and storms still possible for the rest of tonight, but it will slow down dramatically. We'll have a few more storms on Monday. On the 4th of July, plan for a little rain. We're going to hope it stays as dry as possible. Upper 60s tonight. It's hot. It's humid regardless of temperatures cooling down. You're going to be back in the mid 80s tomorrow. More heat, more humidity, and those showers and thunderstorms will kick up again. Here's your seven day forecast. We're in the mid 80s on Tuesday. You've got some sunshine. Finally able to enjoy that maybe by Wednesday, but it is going to be hot and humid again, even if we can dry back out. After that, we do cool down for the weekend. Rain chances, though, will kick back up, and we're going to see that rain carry over into the weekend. But yeah, Madonna Oak, okay, to sum it up, though, we do have some more storms possible tonight. Most of the severe weather threat is diminishing. We'll keep a close eye on the radar for maybe the next hour or two. After that, I think the rest of the night, it's a lot weaker, a lot less stormy. All right, a lot going on. We'll have mm -hmm. to stay tuned. Thanks, Thomas.